Thank you. So Marcia, uh, yes. understanding how difficult serving in Korea was in a more dangerous DMZ in the 1970s, what were the family's thoughts about Major Boniface serving in Korea? And um, how did he get assigned to Korea? And you know, what did he say about his time in Korea? Um, his original orders for Korea was not to that location. It was further south in Korea. And then uh, about a week or so after that, he had this new set of orders. So he, he, he didn't understand he, why mm. his orders were changed. So he, call, he called Branch and all Branch would say that it was a decision that was made with a, a uh, general officer. So Art didn't have any idea what that was all about until he realized that a few weeks before this, he was on funeral brigade. All the people who were no longer with the faculty until they left for Korea, they had to be on funeral duty. And sure enough, one day when Art was on funeral duty, it, he got called to do a funeral. And it was a funeral of a, a very old man who had been an, an, a general in the army at one time. And they said, and his son is now a general. So Art called somebody who had been in Korea the year before and asked about this person. And they said, you're either going to do a great job or you're going to have to leave the military <laughs> with whatever you do with this man's father's funeral. So at the end of the time that Art served with this man, this officer, um, he, he might be on the line right now, but he congratulated Art on a job very well done. He was very impressed with what he did. So I firmly believe that he was the cause of Art going up or the reason, not the cause, the reason for Art going to a special unit like that. Mm -hmm. And that was his day. He was going to die. He did everything he could have to um, do a situation that the North Koreans had a different idea than they did. And uh, so be it. Oh, my goodness. Uh, you know, this is. Uh, Small world. Yeah. Uh, and I, I'll, I'll yes. say one other thing the same Please. officer who Art talked with, um, he said, I, I have no idea what the JSA is until he started investigating. And this officer said, Let me tell you. We were all ready in the gym at the beginning of the winter basketball season. And all of a sudden, these monsters walked into the basketball arena and they all had JSA written on the back. And he said they were all well over six feet. And of course, they won the volleyball, the basketball tournament. <laughs> Yeah, height, height's sort of important in basketball. Uh, yes, but yes, yeah. and it's very important in the JSA. Right, no, absolutely. Um, um, wonderful. 